Hi, welcome to this tutorial on the TI Voyage 200. You can turn your calculator on in the lower left hand corner. I'm going to go to the Home app. Um, here you can do basic calculations such as cosine of 90 degrees, press enter, zero. To change over to radians, go to Mode and Angle. Here I can change to radians, press enter. Such as uh, a problem such as sine over pi over 6 would require radians. And press enter, you get one half. If I want an approximate value, then I can press the green diamond key and enter for an approximate 0.5. If something is undefined, such as natural log of 0, the calculator will tell you this. Um, let's go to F3 for desolve. Uh, desolve is C. This is the differential equation solver. Here's an arbitrary problem. Y prime, prime is over B, minus X times, it's important to put the time symbol in here, X times Y equals zero, and an initial condition, so catalog for and, Y of zero, Y of zero is equal to one and then tell the independent and dependent variables x and y press enter and here's the answer after this let's do differentiation uh, differentiation is the first one in the F3 menu we're going to differentiate sine of x and do that with respect to x press enter cosine if I now want to integrate this, I don't actually even need to go to the F3 menu. Integrate is right over 7, so I can press second 7 for integrate. And I can integrate my last answer over the negative sign here. Integrate with respect to, or integrate dx. So press enter, sine x, and it should have the constant integration there. After this, let's do limits in F3, limits is number 3. We're going to do a limit uh, 1 over x, and my variable is x, as x approaches infinity, infinity is over j, close parenthesis, press enter. As x approaches infinity, this whole thing, 1 over x, goes to 0. Okay, sums, go to f3, sum is number 4. Sum or sum x squared, so x squared variable is x and we're going to go from 0 to 10 press enter so this is 0 squared plus 1 squared plus 2 squared all the way through 10 squared is 385 okay I'm going to go to f2 and let's do the ubiquitous solve so x squared so x squared plus 2x is equal to 2 and uh, x is my variable, press enter, and here are the two solutions for x. Now if you have complex roots, you can take care of that as well. Go to F2, complex, a C solve is number one. So uh, f uh, something with complex roots would be x squared, x squared plus 3x, plus 3, equals zero variable x close parenthesis enter and here are your two complex roots now to factor press f2 factor is number two here is a function to factor 8x cubed plus 64 and x close parenthesis press enter and here is the factored form Okay, go back to F2 and expand number 3. Let's expand x plus y, x plus y squared. And here's that expanded. Go back to F2 for zeros. Zeros is number 4. Let's find when sine x is 0. And we're going to put some bounds on this with the evaluation bar, which is over k. So I want to find it only when zero when zero is less than or equal to x 
and so I get my and from catalog and x is less than let me fix this less than or equal to 2 pi and pi is right here over the carrot press enter and it happens three times 0 pi and 2 pi now for Taylor series let's go to F3 Taylor is number 9 so Taylor series um, my function will be e to the t variables t and I want a fourth degree representation and here that is now I'm going to go to graphing so let's go to y equals I'm in function form we're going to plot something simple x squared press enter to graph press the green diamond key and R it'll say busy here in the lower right hand corner and to trace you can press F3 and um, you can move along the graph and other things as well you can explore these menus up top now I'm going to go to mode I'm going to switch out of function switch over to polar press enter go to y equals now you'll see it's now R of theta so here is a function to plot cosine of 8 theta. Theta is right here over the back button. Close parenthesis, enter, green diamond key, and R to graph. And you'll see that this graph is very small in the center of my screen. To fix this, I can press F2 and zoom. Go up, or actually down to zoom fit. It's A, choice A, press enter and it'll say busy and fit this graph perfectly to your screen. Now I'm going to go to mode again and switch to three-dimensional graphing which is choice 5, press enter and go to y equals by pressing the green diamond key and w. Now it's z of xy form. So here is a, um, an equation graph x um, cubed times y minus y cubed times x close parenthesis divided by 390 and press enter and now press the green diamond key and r to graph and this actually takes quite a while to graph it will say recalculate it will go up to 100 percent and after that it will say wire and go through 100 percent as well and like I said, three-dimensional is the longest to graph. Okay, and here's my graph. I can rotate it with the arrow keys. I can press F3 to trace it. And all the other good options up here in the menus. Okay, and now um, to finish, I'm going to go to Apps, Data Matrix. I'm going to create a new matrix. So press Enter. Matrix will be the type. Scroll down the matrix and you'll want to name it. I'll name mine B. I'll make it a 2x2 two two matrix. Press enter. And here's my elements. I'll have 1, 2, 3, 4. Just for example. And go back to the home screen. Now I can manipulate this matrix I just made. So I'll take the determinant by pressing DET for determinant my matrix B, press enter, and the answer is negative 2. If I wanted to do some other manipulation to this matrix, I can go to the math menu, which is over 5, scroll down to matrix, and here's a whole bunch of choices, the transpose, reduced row echelon form, eigenvalues, etc. Okay, and that's the TI Voyage 200. Thanks for watching.